Hello everyone, welcome back to IT Samurai Teacher. My name is Shihab and we are continuing our series on small business setup in Azure. This is the second video in the series. In the first video, we set up Azure's uh, pay as you go subscription and I show you how to create three subscription to keep things organized. We have one for virtual machines, one for web apps and one for AI projects. In this video, we are diving into Azure Entra ID. This is automatically created by Azure when you set up your subscription. Azure Entra ID, formerly known as Azure Active Directory, is the backbone of identity and access management in Azure. Setting up properly is essential for managing users, securing access, and organizing your Azure environment. We'll explore the ID overview page as you can see in here and learn how to add users and configure some basic settings to get to get started. In the next video, we'll go over adding a custom domain to make things even more professional. So stick around to learn the basic in this video and uh, be ready to for more advanced steps coming up. So let's jump in to setting up Azure Entra ID, we first need to navigate to its Azure portal. So you can do this by going to the search bar and typing Azure Entra, Entra ID. Okay, or you can type Microsoft, uh, not actually, this is Entra ID, just in case uh, if you think that uh, you type Azure. Active Directory. So you can see Microsoft Entro ID and the keywords Azure Active Directory. So Azure Active Directory name is the old name. Now Microsoft changed to Microsoft Entro ID. So that's how you see it. So once you once you click this, don't worry, that's the same one. You're going to uh, enter. Now if you say uh, Entro ID, you can see just Entro ID popping up, but it not show you Microsoft Active Directory so but don't worry these are the same so once you click that you will see default directory overview uh, that's this don't worry this is the Microsoft Intro ID portal now I'm going to a uh, quick one and I'm going to give you an uh, explanation okay so once we are here you will see the overview page Azure Intra ID which give us a snapshot of the directory key details here on the overview page, we can confirm some important information about our tenant. You will see the tenant ID, as you can see in here, which uniquely identifies your Azure AD tenant and the primary domain, which is currently set to the default uh, on Microsoft.com domain. For now, we'll leave the primary domain as is, but in the next video, we'll look at adding a custom domain to personalize this. That's a good, cool uh, project. Okay, to the next step is to set up a user in Azure Entra ID. Head over to the Users tab on the left. You can see in here, under Manage. So to add a new user, click on the New User you can enter username and and other details in here now because i don't have a custom domain so you will get like this so i'm going to say um, user one i'm going to pay like john john okay uh, so display name John Samurai and it's auto generate the password account is enable so looks good I'm going to next properties um, you can fill uh, all the details whatever the, the things you have John Samurai so you can in here uh, you can see it's a member and uh, it, it depends what you want to put it here. So just go ahead and put everything stuff in here. So I was looking if I need to do anything else. Okay, everything looks good. Next assignments. 
now in here okay now for the added role now if you want to make this use a global administrator you can make a global administrator so normally if you put someone and if you make the global administrator you can just type here can see can manage all the experts to microsoft enter id so that use microsoft enter these identities so just click this click select now this user going to be a global administrator so if make sure global administrator is very high uh, powerful user so make sure you trust this user whoever do this and give access or you want to keep it securely just in case if you want to make sure like a backup user just save uh, username password separately and create the account and just in case if say I have issues probably you can log in now next review and I'm going to create so you can see uh, we get a message successfully created I'm going to refresh you can see John summarize created member and the identities so we successfully created a user account okay now next let's go to the group steps I'm going back again and you can see under here uh, groups I'm going to click that groups um, you can create a new group just in case if you have bigger team or even one user probably you can add it to a group so I'm going to show you how to create a group so normally click the new group um, so you can see uh, you can select group type security or Microsoft 365 I'm going to make it this is a group just in case if you really want to know what's all this security type uh, security and Microsoft 365 or what uh, any uh, anything else you always can just click this mark and it will tell you security groups are used to give group members can access applications resources align license uh, Microsoft 365 used for collaboration giving members access to share mailbox calendars so I'm going to give uh, this group is all about security and I'm going to type uh, IT team uh, IT members, members I'm assigned, um, so everything looks good. So I'm going to add a user. John, yes, you. So I'm going to add the John, the samurai, to this group. So you can see one member is selected. And I'm going so once you have named the group, uh, added the users, uh, we just click create. Uh, so now you can see the new group is created and permissions added, everything looks good. So go back, all groups, you can see IT team. Even if I do uh, in here can see two users created one group created even you can see from the overview overview page all the summary or whatever you did now let's go over the roles and administrators I'm going to show you something uh, roles and administrators so this section lets you assign a specific administrative roles to users. For example, if you want someone to have a full access to intra ID settings, you can click global administrator, then click uh, added assignments to add that user to the role. But be careful with this role as it provides complete access to Azure AD settings. Uh, other roles like user administrator for managing users or application administrator for managing apps so assign roles based on the level of access each user needs so if you have a team probably you can you know follow this uh, administrator roles give the user administrator roles or application administrator roles like that that just divided
Normally, we don't give a global administrator roles to all the users. The demonstration purpose I show you, but you want to make sure yeah, that IT manager, if you are an owner, if you get an IT administrator, give that IT administrator only for the global uh, privileges. So other users, whoever the, the assistant or system in, engineer, don't give them, just assign them a different roles so they can do their work. Uh, since I am not going to give because I already give one access, I'm going to uh, not going to play with around. But just in case, if you want to play around to users, there are so many groups. Uh, what kind of things they can do? So uh, assign as needed. Got it. So I'm going back again. I'm going to over page. Okay, let's quickly uh, understand some key settings on uh, Entra ID portal. The first one is the password reset. If you go under manage, uh, if we, this is the password reset tab. Here you can set up self-service password reset policy so users can reset their own password securely. So these projects I'm going to cover in the next future videos. So now you need to get some idea about these tabs are very, very useful. So you can configure self-password reset for users. The next one is security. So security, use this section to enable security features like multi-factor authentication, MFA to enhance login security for users. This is a must need to, you need to configure, but the, because we are going to get it started, we're not going to cover this one. Once we uh, go step by step, creating all the uh, components, we going to jump into this Microsoft uh, MFA configuration. So please, subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notified when I create those videos. Now let's go back again and I'm going to show you another one is monitoring. You can see under monitoring. So under monitoring, you can view sign in logs, audit logs to track user activities and changes within the Azure AD, which is especially important for security and compliance. So if you have any issues where the user is logging, you can go ahead and check these logs. Now, so once you you have added the users, create groups and assign roles. Go back to overview page to confirm everything looks good. Here you can should see the updates on the users and the groups and applications. With these steps completed, your Azure Entra ID setup is ready. You can now have a secure and organized structure to manage users and access in Azure. In the next video, we'll take this one step further by adding a custom domain. This will make your Azure environment even more professional and user-friendly, allowing users to log in with a business domain like yourcompany.com, uh, itsamuraiteacher.com, or yahoo.com, like those, those uh, domains. So be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss, uh, miss it out. So that's all for this today's video. Like AITV did intro ID setup, and I show you uh, the futures. So by following these steps, you are setting a solid foundation for your small business in Azure. So thanks for watching, IT Samurai Teacher, and I'll see you on the next video.